watching WMBD This Morning. Welcome back. Helping to fight food insecurity in central Illinois. That's what the 37th annual Stuff a Bus Food Drive aims to do. And this morning, we're joined by CityLink Director of Community Engagement, Shamra Robinson, as well as the CEO of the Peoria Friendship House, Marcella Somerville, to tell us more about it. Good morning, both of you. Good, Good, morning. Morning. Good morning. So I love this. I love this drive. It's one of my favorite fundraisers of the year. But for those who aren't familiar, what is the Stuff a Bus Food Drive? The Stuff a Bus Food Drive is uh, something that we've been doing in partnership with CityLink for over 37 years. 37 years food drive. Um, it's a short span through the holidays, right? Trying to make sure that no one goes hungry during this holiday season. Um, we do it for five weeks. Um, we've been doing it 37 years and it's been a tremendous asset in our community. It's such an important fundraiser, especially for this time of year with holidays coming up. Um, do you have a goal of how much food you hope to raise? Yes, we hope to raise 12 tons. So okay. we really need the community to come out and support. And so, um, with all the giving that will be available during that time, I believe that we can raise it and maybe even go beyond. And of course, all this stocks the food pantry at the Friendship House, right? I mean, how long did last year's haul last? It lasted about five months. Uh, typically, it lasts around six to eight months. Um, we did see, um, we did identify an overwhelming number of uh, individuals who needed service. Um, we served probably around 150,000 meals wow. last year. Um, and, you know, the need is there. Um, we had a few partners who stepped up, uh, obviously, when we had that shortfall. Um, St. Paul was very influential in us making sure that we got to those next few months, uh, Midwest Food Bank, and just all of them. So I think this is a great opportunity for Peoria. Uh, we've even created some initiatives to have schools get involved, have mm. churches get involved, uh, to have more support. What kind of foods are more needed than others? Um, it's hard to say. Um, honestly, it depends, but obviously non-perishables um, are something that can sit on our shelves for longer months, uh, periods of time. So uh, those are always, um, but you know, the hearty meals like the beans and rice, sure. uh, they, they go a long way. And so how can people donate? So, Go ahead. Yes, okay. so there's um, various ways that they'll be able to donate um, at different Kroger locations. They'll be able to provide direction on how they would want you to give um, because different stores have different ways of doing that. However, we will be having our kickoff tomorrow and that will be at the Lindbergh Kroger. So um, we want to invite the community to come out. It'll be from 10 to 3. Um, but uh, the actual start of the kickoff where we'll have all the entertainment will start at 10 o'clock. Mm. That's so exciting. Yes. It's such a great way to kick off such an important mm -hmm. fundraiser. Um, we could just have to run up one more time. If you could just tell us um, how, how long people have until they can donate, what it, what it ends. So it starts tomorrow. And so that'll be October 18th through November 29th. And you can give at any time at any uh, Peoria uh, Kroger store location and also East Peoria. And what are some of the things people say when they come and they get this, this food? Um, they're, they're overjoyed, right, in terms of um, receiving um, the food. Uh, they're, they're, you know, they're like, man, I don't know what I'd do without the Peoria Friendship House Food Pantry, things like that. Um, very small, but very impactful words uh, when it comes to helping service uh, the community. Certainly, so important. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us yep. this morning. Thank you. And of course, we'll share all these details over on our website at ciproud.com.